you anymore. Hello everyone, this is Immortal Game and welcome to MK Mobile. And guys, after the previous video, I saw many guys were very excited. And in this video, I am going to talk about the new gears, especially the Crypt gears and the Hellspawn Tower gears. These gears are incredible. I will talk about those gears. And firstly, I will talk about the Crypt gears, then Hellspawn Normal and Fatal Tower rewards, and then the Hellspawn Tower gears. So let's quickly begin from the brutality set of Kenshi. So the epic one is called Tyra's Clan Sixth Sense. 40% basic attack unblockable chance, 50% chance to increase speed by 1% on block breaker, max 15%. Okay. Kenshi has 75% chance to apply Sixth Sense buff for 10 seconds after special attack 2. It increases damage by 5% every second while the buff is active and makes all attacks sneak attacks. Successful basic hits have a 7% chance to increase the duration of the buff by 3 seconds. Are you serious? This is just super crazy man. I mean MK1 Kenshi, I mean any Kenshi can have sneak attacks with the help of this gear. We don't need MK level Liu Kang or Black Dragon Cabal. Damn it. Gain 2 bars of power at the start of the match or at the first user's tag in and 80% resistance to all debuffs for the first 30 seconds while the user is active. My god, but don't forget guys that this is the fusion next stats. So let's talk about the rare one Tyra's clan suit takes 50% less damage when blocking. While the user is active, the power generation increases by 5% every 5 seconds, maximum 30%. My goodness, health is restored by 10% after performing any successful special attack, maximum 5 times per barrel. This is, oh my god, even the rare one is incredible. I told you guys, these gears are super useful and super powerful. Let's talk about the Kano's friendship, another crypt gear. So here the epic one is called Bionic Skeleton. 50% chance to apply one of the following debuffs for 5 seconds on combo and just in sequence. Slow snare curse. So there will be a sequence of this uh, debuffs. That's cool 50% chance but add fusion X. 3% special attacks power cost reduction for each buff and debuff of light from this equipment maximum 30%. Damn. Kano has 100% chance to charge Bionic Overload on combo enders up to 5 stacks. Activate it by using any special attack. Activation consumes all stacks. Gain Dispel for 1 consumed stack. Speed for 7 seconds for 3 and Invulnerability for 7 seconds for 5 stacks. My god! Overpowered gear man. This is absolutely incredible. Gain power if the opponent is slow. Gain strengthen if an opponent has snare and gain luck if the opponent has curse. All the buffs for 5 seconds only. Unbelievable man. Unbelievable. Thank you so much game. These gears are incredible. Bionic Eye. 35% critical hit chance boost. 15% chance to play death mark on critical hits. Basic attacks additionally deal 15% of damage to all tagged out opponents. 15% damage boost for each defeated. Oh my god guys, I just can't wait to uh, acquire these gears in my collection. Seriously guys, unbelievable. Um, yeah, Bionic Skeleton at Fusion 0 might have 50 to 60% chances only but this is incredible. Gain speed for 7 seconds, invulnerability, dispel, oh my god, that's just too good man. After reading the stats of these gears, I am now even more curious. Seriously guys, I just can't wait for the update. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the rewards of Fatal and Normal Hellspawn Tower. So here you can clearly see guys that in Normal Tower we are going to get Hellspawn Scorpion, Circular Shadow Liu Kang, MK11 Sheng Shung, MK11 Raiden and of course a random diamond card. Which is uh, a cool thing and not that great rewards. I mean White Lotus Tower has really cool rewards so as compared to that this is not that great but mk11 shang Tsung and raiden are good but what about fatal hell spawn tower rewards man let me just quickly show you that is just just incredible look at this starting from spawn 
Circle of Shadow Nightwolf, MK11 Liu Kang, MK1 Scorpion, Circle of Shadow uh, Quan Chi is a bit of uh, disappointment here, uh, but other four are just too good, man. This reward pool makes me very excited for this tower. I'll be grinding every single attempt in this tower and uh, also the gears, you know. And now let's quickly talk about the gear so that you can make it very clear that how worthy this tower is going to be to grind especially the fatal tower you can just see the rewards man i would like to give get couple of copies of spawn from there and maybe mk level you king of course any character from here will be absolute win so let's first talk about the epic gears from hell spawn tower here are the epics guys first one is called damnation visage 30% power generation boost, 100% chance to gain strength and after a user perform any special attack, strength and can stack up to 3 times. Damn it, strength and is very useful. 225% damage boost, 225% damage boost. It's written twice out there. Health spawn tower only. 75% chance to apply team power drain on tag in and every 13 seconds while user is, is tagged in. This is very decent gear power generation boost is incredible also strength is gonna in increase more and more damage but here i am very much confused with this why this is written 225 percent damage boost twice is this going to be twice that means 450 percent damage boost at fusion x uh very much confused man whether it should be somewhere uh 300 for 400 percent max health boost something like that very much confused it's an accessory so of course there should be some health boost as well but it's twice damage boost a bit of confusion there anyone know let me know in the comments next one is called fool's abductor reduces active opponents power generation by 20 percent steal 50 percent of the opponent's max attack and max health if the opponent meets their final death by the user oh that is going to be useful man you can have that attack that you will steal so that will be useful 1200 percent max L boot that's an armor whenever an opponent tries to apply a positive combat effect to themselves on their team or their team the effect copy is applied to the user the copied buffs can stack unique personal effects are not affected that is going to be really useful but at fusion x so i will not talk about that a lot so these two gears are just good not really incredible you know as we saw the, about the crypt gears tempest lasso the friendship gear of raiden 50 percent basic attacks unblockable chance that's really useful 100 percent chance to play snare after performing successful sp1 something like you know ninja's call to arms so why would anyone max out an epic if they already have a rare 400 percent chance to sn apply snare on sp1 600 percent damage boost so yeah it's an uh weapon raiden has 40 percent chance to counter attack opponent special attack with tempest attack dealing damage and applying fire to the whole opponent team damn it man this is going to be really cool they added this thing in the fr sub zeros friendship as well so this is incredible gain one bar of power and speed for five seconds on tagging so yeah this gear is cool and extremely useful as well thank you very much game last one is blazing training the friendship of liu kang 15 percent lethal blow chance boost 100 percent chance to play shield break for seven seconds before any special attack damn mk level liu kang all i can remind of is mk level liu kang with this sp2 my god that is going to be incredible 600 percent damage boost for an armor damage boost that's a strange liu kang gains stack of coverage after every combo under max four stacks for each stack he has a 25 percent chance to perform special attack one instead of combo under my god apply stun on the op opponent after sp1 used this way the courage resets after tagging the up after triggering the effect damn man both friendship gears are just incredible while user is active gain 10 percent damage boost every four second maximum 100 percent there is a 25 percent chance to apply blind for eight seconds after receiving boost from this effect 
Oh my god, this tower is going to hell man, this tower is going to be hell, especially the fatal one. I don't know how many difficult battles will be there and how long will be we will be stuck there. My god, that is incredible man. Okay, so, so, let's just talk about the rare pieces. Surprisingly guys, this tower has only 3 rare pieces, 1 weapon, 1 accessory and 1 armor. Crown of Mind Control, the rare friendship piece of Liu Kang which says 30% all special attacks unblockable chance applies team incurability for 20 seconds on successful sp2 now i will see i will see you mk11 jade with my mk11 scorpion my god i love this gear guys i love this gear i badly want this gear to be fusion x as soon before the spawn uh, tower expires man 300% damage boost 25% chance to perform sp2 with zero power cost i love this gear man I love this. Next one is Tempest Bangle, the rare fancy piece of raid and 30% reduced power cost on all special attacks. 50% reduced near and slow duration applied to the user. 150% damage boost, 300% max health boost, gain regeneration upon successful tag out for 7 seconds. My god, my god, these rare pieces are super OP than the epic ones, man. And the armor is called Blazing Girdle. Oh, I'm sorry. So this one is the rare friendship, not the crown of mind control. My bad, guys. So this gear at Fusion X will be like 30% unblockable attack chance reduction, 15% chance to remove opponent's active positive buffs on successful basic attacks, 600% max health boost, gain shield at the start of the match, and on tag in for 10 seconds oh my god guys i just can't explain in words that how good these rare pieces are just too good please guys epics are not that great as compared to the rare these rare pieces unbelievable rewards from the health point tower especially the fatal one if you include those diamond cards with these rare tower gears that is going to be incredible and now let's finally talk about the remaining uncommon pieces from this tower and then i will take your comments from the previous video so only three uncommon pieces from this tower all three are accessories gutless grapple 20 percent max health boost 80 percent damage boost 160 percent max health boost for health spawn tower only and 30 percent chance to gain dispel on sp1 scorched sting 25 percent chance to apply fire on combo under easy die i, I remember that gear 80% damage boost, 760% max health boost for health spawn tower only, 25% incoming damage reduction when below 50% health, itchy suffocation, 50% chance to apply weaken on tag in, 80% damage boost again for health spawn tower, apply bleed to random opponent upon applying weaken. So the final uncommon piece looks a bit useful, but yeah, as you as I said, guys, rare pieces are just so overpowered from this tower so just go for those gears guys seriously that is going to be really useful for you all so this was the tower gears and the new crypt gears review and now let me quickly take your couple of comments from the previous video and uh, give a quick reply to them so the first comment is from Dronzer mk11 he says i've checked the new equipments and they will make the ai and boss battles hell stuff seriously man this tower is actually hell and as its name is hell spawn tower so yeah this is going to be hell and as they mentioned this tower is from the depths of the hell so that is going to be really really challenging tower you know uh, especially the fatal one ryan malik says i'm hyped finally an update that's worth the wait exactly man i agree with you this is the best possible update in past one year now i'm just since i've been playing the game it is going to be the best update ever for me next comment is from avi the movie guy whoa i'm quite excited about mk1 kenshin now the thing in the crypts cause i have been grinding regularly for the equipment cards especially all in all looks like a promising update very much yes very much and as i said i can't wait for that man i want to try all those things so yeah you are right that is a very very promising and very exciting update next one is from emergency bell seriously this update is going to be huge can't wait you forgot to put the t <laughs> yeah man this is going to be 
really big update and here we go towards the final comment which is from milad he says they didn't give us a new challenge but repeat samsung they are incredible are you out of my mind whoa whoa man relax my boy relax you don't need to use the such kind of words man okay so if if i uh explain this why did i say that they are incredible that that they repeat repeat the classic samsung challenge because classic samsung is very hard to get and since he's a very incredible character card i would like if they give their cha its challenge back to back because i want people to have him at higher and higher fusions in the collection he is going to be really helpful everywhere in the towers faction wars because of the ability he can heal on his uh, sp1 also can make all his classic teammates heal on his sp1 so yeah uh, suppose if they would have given venomous devora or any other uh, character which is not that good as classic samsung it is so i would say giving not giving a new challenge instead of classic samsung is good and if you are expecting for a new challenge like lizard baraka or lizard noob i don't think you are going to get anything like that in soon future so yeah that was my expl explanation why i did say that so guys this was it i have uh, taken all the important comments and uh, i hope you enjoyed watching and let me know your thoughts in the comments about the new equipment especially as i said the rare pieces from the hellspawn tower and both brutality and the friendship sets from the crypt are just incredible and really powerful let me know your thoughts in the comments till then this was it from this video thank you so much for watching till the end i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye